Hello Queensland and welcome to Roverline. I'm your host, Nick Lindy. And I'm Ben Cherry Smith from the NRC and the Gap Rover Crew. This month we'll be having a little bit of a preview into what Queensland Rovers is going to look like in the next rovering year. Plus a look at the Australian contingent at World Moot. But first, the headlines. The 2016-17 QBRC will be chaired by Blake Bath. Queensland Rovers have purchased a generator and two barbecues for event purposes. And QBRC have committed to assisting at a Camp Crystal 2017 after Kelsey Reed attended this year's camp. Camp Crystal is run by Childhood Cancer Support and we look forward to working with them in the future. In NRC news, the I Want To Be A Rover Woggles are undergoing a redesign and applications are open for the Roverscope Coordinator at AV 2018, which will be held right here in Queensland. Applications do close on the 28th of April, so get yours in ASAP. Also, Ben, the NRC have announced the Crew Challenge for this year. What's involved? That's right, Nick. This year, the NRC Crew Challenge is on adventure engagement. To enter, all you have to do is take on a challenge that engages both your rover crew and the venturer section, promote it before, during, or after the activity, or all the above, challenge three other rover crews, to do the same and fill out a form at the link in the description. Your crew could win $500 for your efforts. Entries close on the 31st of October and PS, marriage proposals will not be considered as venture engagement. Remember guys, you need to have your blue card registered with Scouts Queensland. And it's approaching five months since the cutoff for e-learning training and a reminder that all new rovers have six months from starting to complete their child safety and workplace health and safety e-learning courses. If you are currently undergoing training, make sure Liana Gami, our training officer, knows about it. Email her at training at qldrovers.org.au. There are all kinds of training opportunities available to you. Check out the branch training calendar to find out what's on in your region. For more information, refer to the April 2016 minutes on the Rover website at qldrovers.org.au. That is where you can find event details and information on current training opportunities. After the QBRC meeting, our reporter, Beck Fritz, caught up with Blake Bath, the chair-elect for the next rovering year. So, Blake, I hear that you are the new QBRC chair for 2016. Do you have any special plans for us? Uh, I do. I want to follow a principle that I've created. It's the Pirate Principle, ARRR. It's um, activities, recruitment and retention. Um, the principle is quite simple. We want to create more activities for crews, um, for the state to be involved in. We want to recruit new rovers from venturers or outside sources and we want to retain all the rovers we have within the state. Cool. So do you have any specific events you have planned? We do. With the uh, Rover Awareness Team, we want to create a package of small activities that we're going to run up and down the state as challenges and we're going to award them a trophy. Um, these could range from a Rover Adventure Bowling Challenge to uh, a Rover Camp Out, some kind of uh, challenge like Triple S. Um, and we just really want to promote that. We want to promote an active Rover lifestyle. Well, that sounds great. I look forward to getting involved in those events. Um, back to you in the studio, Nick. The new QBRC will be sworn in at the AGM in June. As mentioned in last month's Roverline, in 2017, a majority of the events held in Queensland will be run by the regions. QBRC will retain St George's Ball, Kimu and Banana Bash, which will leave lots of big events like Urban Challenge, Quam, Medieval Feast, TNT and Roventure to be run and financed by the regions. So start coming up with some ideas and talk to your region rep about submitting proposals to run one of Queensland's great events. The Australian Contingent has launched their website, www.wsm2017.com. You'll be able to get all the up-to-date details on the Contingent. They have announced a base price of $2,500 to $2,700, which will cover all the food and accommodation for 10 days, moot participant fees, travel insurance, and Australian Contingent merchandise. Not included in this package is flights to and from Iceland, optional activities like pre and post tours, as well as expeditions at the moon. Applications open on Monday the 1st of August at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. So get saving and get excited. Just a little heads up that another game of Fugitive will be played at Southbank on the 6th of May. Head to Queensland Rover's Facebook page for more information on time and meeting point. Don't forget your Rover Polo. 
and Rovers will also be running the Laser Skirmish Base at Triple S on the 2nd and 3rd of July. This is a big event with over 1,200 scouts present. To help out, talk to Taylor Gregory. For more information on events and activities, check out Rover Active on the Queensland Rovers YouTube channel. And if you'd like to be involved in Roverline, please email us at roverline at qldrovers.org.au. Don't forget to subscribe to the Queensland Rovers YouTube channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, all at QLD Rovers. For more information, visit www.qldrovers.org.au. I'm Nick Lindy for Roverline, and remember to always be prepared.